Hey guys, I'm coming back from out of town, so I just wanted to do this video. So if I'm not staring at the camera, you know why I'm driving. But I wanted to share a quick word with you. The Bible says, those that hunger and seek after righteousness shall be filled. During this time of sacred season, I want to ask you, are you beginning to hunger and seek after righteousness? Something I find is as we begin to dig into the word and dig into prayer and, and fast and do those things, make sacrificial giving, we, as we do that, we begin to draw closer to God. And what I found is the closer I draw to God, the more I want of him, the more I desire him. And the Bible's true. If we will hunger and seek after him and after righteousness, we will be filled. So my question is, are you hungering and seeking after him? Do you want to be filled by his presence? I know that's something I want. During this time of sacred season, we've been talking a lot about sowing a seed and sacrificial giving, and that is very important. But I also want you to remember that we can also ask God for the impossible. When we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, it says all these other things will be added to us. He says that if we will ask, we shall receive. And if we will ask according to his will, we're going to receive it. So I'm asking you now to think about what is that impossible thing in your life that you just, you don't see any way it can work. Can I tell you that God can do it? You've heard me say time and time again, you either trust God or you don't. And if you trust God, then that means you're willing to put whatever your issue is, situation, circumstance, you're willing to put it in his hands and trust him to take care of it in his time, in his way. If you don't trust God, that means you want to take care of it yourself. You want to try to work it out. You want to keep your hands in the middle of it. What I found in life is anytime I keep my hands in the middle of it, things don't work so well. So I'm asking you now, trust God. Whatever the impossible thing is that, that you want to, to lay down, you want to leave in his, play, in his hands, do that. Lay it down. Ask him to move on your behalf and then let it go. You can't hold on to it and God work it out. You can't worry about it and God still work it out. You've got to let it go. Give it to him. Let him take care of it. Church, this can be an amazing time for us. But you've got to want to draw near. You've got to want to see his will fulfilled in every part of your life. And I believe that's what he wants for our church. So I'm going to ask you now to make one more commitment with me. Starting tomorrow, 8 o'clock through Sunday at 8 o'clock, will you commit to just one meal a day? Let's fast everything else. You drink water or liquids up through the day as you need to. But let's only have one meal a day. Let's go that extra mile in fasting for the next two days just to, to show God, you know, we're willing to make a sacrifice. We're willing to push our flesh down so that our spirit can rise. I believe, guys, that this is going to be an amazing sacred Sunday coming up. That we're going to see God move in miraculous ways. But I want to pour myself out before him. I want to give him all of me. I want to show him that I'm willing to make whatever sacrifice in order that he can come and fill me up. Will you join me with that? I love you guys. God bless you.